Hey everybody, it's Captain Kyle and I'm here with Flame Walker. Well, actually, it's a third party version of our favorite hot rod. Well, a lot of people blame him for Optimus Prime's death, so I don't know about favorite, but he is a popular character. And we're gonna go through the third party version, which is in a very nice box, as you can see there. Ooh, shiny. And see if it's worth it. Be right back. So there have been a lot of hot rods that have come out lately. Well, I mean, there's the 86, Studio 86 version. Of course, there's Masterpiece, there's Original, there's the Legacy small one. You know, there's a lot of them. And now we have another. So the box looks very nice. Very shiny, nice picture of hot rod-ish Flame Walker. On the front, on the back, it shows you the different modes, the two modes. And on the side, it shows you artwork or the actual figures. Now, this is the MS-21 Flamewalker Generation version. This is from Mechanic Studio, hence the MS. And apparently, he has a goggles head. So, he looks like he has a number of accessories. Could be on par with the Studio series or even the Masterpiece. But let's take a look and see what's inside. Plastic! Now looking at this, this looks like maybe a scaled down version of the Masterpiece. He does have an extra head in there, as you can see. There's the bot, there's two weapons, chainsaw, fishing pole, like he's gonna have any fish. And of course they added extra tape just to irritate me. I know that they're plotting right now to find other ways to irritate me when I'm taking Transformers or third party Transformers out of packaging. That flew everywhere and I almost lost his head. All right, so we've got the plastic prison got taken care of. We have these nice instructions that show us everything we need to know. Who knows, you may need to refer to them. It looks like he has one instruction sheet to show how to change him. Actually, it looks like there's two instruction sheets and it's like continued on sheet two. So lots of instructions. I don't know if we'll need them. We'll put them over here, go from there. But let's take a look at this guy. So there is Flame Walker. And just to show some scaling, he's a bit smaller than both the Studio 86 and the original G1. So kind of cool, depending on who you want to scale him with. He comes with two guns and he is somewhat posable, it looks like. You can bend him at the elbow. You can do a full Jean-Claude Van Damme. You can turn his head. His arms bend at the elbow and they actually swivel out to the sides. You can also maneuver him at the shoulder so he can point his gun straight. He does twist at the waist, so he's got a good amount of posability. The feet move a little bit to help with posing, so you can balance him into something looking a little bit more dynamic. He comes with additional accessories. One is the fishing pole from that classic scene where he caught a whopper all right in Transformers the movie. Now, as opposed to some versions of Hot Rod where you can like flip around the hand and plug it in or replace it, the buzz saw, the little spinny blade, actually goes into his hand just like a gun so it doesn't retract and come out. I wanna see that technology. And he does have an extra head that has the goggles for like the one scene in the entire movie where he's actually using goggles to you know see into the ship and it looks like to remove it there might be a screw in the back so might pop off but I don't want to do it right now so overall cool figure he's got of course the wing on the back there's not too much kibble on him you can see inside his legs are the wheels and he's got the piping and of course he's got the pipes on the arms so that he can use those as additional blasters as seen in the movie so overall, a very poseable, cool figure. Again, a bit smaller than other versions, though not quite as small as Core Class. Let's check out vehicle mode and see if these four pages of instructions can help me get him into it. So there he is in vehicle mode. I have to say the transformation was actually a bit surprising. Some of the things that I expected to happen did not happen. And I can definitely say this is not a smaller version of the masterpiece it's not a smaller version of any of the other versions of hot rod that are out there it's obviously smaller compared to the g1 and pretty much 
except for the core class and the other version of hot rod you know any of the basic core hot rods you know would be a little smaller than this but it's still a very cool vehicle um the coloration is a bit more orange than some of the other versions of hot rod though maybe the newer version studio 86 is probably closer in coloration to this one definitely a nice version of hot rod for any fan of the character and it seems to have even more of like a race car type shape this kind of pointed nose and yeah the transformation was definitely a bit of a surprise the way it actually worked out but it's very cool has lots of accessories so i definitely recommend this for hot rod fans though you can call him flame walker just don't call him skywalker you'll have disney on your ass and you don't want that so this guy ranges from 30 to 40 bucks. Um, shipping could be anywhere from a couple bucks to five or six. It was through AliExpress, so it did take a little while to get here. But overall, a cool figure. I will put a link in the description to AliExpress and eBay if you'd like to get this guy. Again, if you have a stack of hot rods, such as all the ones that I have, adding him to it would definitely be enhancing your collection. Though I do have to wonder, because a lot of these third-party companies make smaller versions. I mean, I have seen some oversized stuff, but overall the majority seems to be smaller versions. So I would love to see some larger versions of stuff. That would be nice. But there you have it, Flame Walker. While you're deciding if you want to also walk in flames, there's other videos over here. Subscribe button down there. You can hit that notification bell. You can like this video you can even give us a super thanks now apparently so that would be appreciated and of course comment we love those we'll see you next time as always have fun and good hunting